I'm Charlene Kennedy. Since you took away a minute, you can go read last month's transcripts to see my extensive credentials. I just want to say I don't appreciate the political posturing that took place before y'all even took office. It made me feel like you didn't really care what we had to say. Mr. Angry, I want to address you. My name is Charlene Kennedy. Please read your email. I wrote you an extensive one. You replied back to my husband, who is John Kennedy. I don't appreciate it. When I was a deputy 30 years ago, I got treated by, like a second-class citizen because I was a female. I was stalked in college for 10 years from the time I started to pass graduate school. The police could not catch my stalker because he was faster than any police officer. I slept with my Glock 9mm Generation 1 for over 20 years. I want to have the right to keep that same firearm that I used to qualify for the Sheriff's Department and U.S. Marshal Service and not be a felon for using it. And next time, please read your email to see who wrote it. I am a female. I'm not Mr. Kennedy, and I don't care to have a beer with you. As I said in the last thing, those legislation that's being put forward is not gun safety. It is gas lighting. If you have never handled a firearm, then I challenge you to get an instructor to take you to the range and teach you gun safety before you vote. Take up his challenge. If a person will lie, they'll cheat, they'll steal, they'll do anything. When I, I wasn't going to come tonight, but when I read this resolution, I got angry, and I'm still angry. Because these are not truths. I'm a criminologist. These are not facts. These are half-truths, which equal a whole lie. And you're saying you're going to put this forward for our best interest? This isn't even the interest of anyone, because these are not true facts. They're manipulations of the truth. If you need someone to help you find out the real facts, people will do that. I'm going to close with this. If you won't listen to us, which most of you aren't, I've been watching out there, I've been watching in here, but I do appreciate Ms. Wheeler because you have been paying attention, and I appreciate that, and you have the chance to redeem yourself. But I'm going to close with this. If you won't listen to us, listen to God. Listen to the Bible, because Luke 11, 21 states, when a strong man guards you, his house, his possessions are safe. Thank you for your comments.